At number 10 we have Backlight. This manhwa is about Youngwoon, a manager of a well-known celebrity who's making waves in the industry of entertainment, and BQs of the things that have been happening. Youngwoon get asked to spy on his talent and sneak into his private life in order to protect their reputation and save them from falling rock to bottom. And so Youngwoon started to take his action that leads him to room 702 where his talent and this unknown person have been meeting up for the past months. And when he's on the side of seeing his talent with other man, he saw the guy that he promised to forget and erase from his memory and life. Han Seo in is the person that Youngwoo wanted to forget because of the past that make their both lives mesirable. And when he thought he got out of that life, he saw his talent with Han Seo in who is also a well-known and the number one model in their country. Han Seo in might change his appearance, but in Hyungwoo's eyes, he's the same boy that he loved when they were studying. This manhwa is really good manhwa. It has a real story that just give you the idea of reading this trough out the day and night. It also gives me under the green light vibes but in a really a good plot and storyline. So if you're looking for a manhwa that just gives you butterfly, then this manhwa might be for you. At number 9 we have Crimea Ricer. This manhwa is about M.I.E.U.M. A person who got dragged into his father's debt problem and in order for him to pay back the money that his late father borrowed, he needs to work to a young master that the debtor want him to tail and spy on, with no other choice. He started working to the young master that is known as someone who's living up to his dream and been sleeping in with countless of people as long as they have a pretty face. And in M.I.E.U.M. defense, he has a very decent appearance that caught lure the master into his charm. This is what M.I.E.U.M. thought on his way to the mansion of his new employer. But when he saw how his new boss react on him seeing what they're doing with his partner made him question the ability he has towards other people. This manhwa is amazing. It really gives that possessive realness, and the idea of this manhwa is really out of my mind. Like I just know for a fact that this story has a lot of ups and downs going through in every chapter. Also the debt idea seems really fresh to this manhwa even though it has been a concrete for most manhwas. At number 7 we have Codename Anastasia. This manhwa is about Agent Kwan Taekju who got dispatched to Russia with two tasks, and that is to find Anastasia that is known as a new weapon that could change the world forever. And the second task given to him was to avoid any encounter to the Russia's psycho assassin Seek Bognadov at all cost. So he decided to do so in order for him get out of Russia alive. And because this mission is like a mission of the world, the headquarters sent him a partner to assist on his undercover mission. And this partner is named Zhenya who has an attitude of a young rich ruler of an empire. Thinking that this guy might be just nuisance to him and a delay to his mission, he actually don't pay that much attention to him, until Zhenya proves himself to be just as dangerous and unhinged as the infamous assassin of Russia. This manhwa is really crazy and funny at the same time. Cause how don't you get that the your partner is also your enemy that the headquarter advice you to take caution. But the plot was hot and unique honestly. I love how this living me Russian mafia kind of vibes. At number 6 we have MacGuffin. This manhwa is about Lee Suha Min. A person who has no idea of how he's been living for years. Lee Suha Min is currently at a mental hospital where he was forced to do things that his mind and gut feeling don't want him to do. But because of fear of what might happen when he opposed, he did not let a single word slide and just live his life in the cycle. But one day, the hospital has already declared him as recovered patient. And so a stranger in black pick him up to that hospital and told him that they have a past that he maybe forget. Confused in shock, Lee Suha Min has no other choice but live with him knowing that he's the only person who knows about him and the only person that might help him to recover his memory. By the times of being together, Lee Suha Min saw how this guy just go around as if he's just a toy to him whenever he want to. And his suspension ended with tragedy when he found out that the man who he thought was his boyfriend has a wife. This manhwa is by far the best possessive manhwa I've read this year. Just the idea that our Uke has his memory loss seems sketchy enough to think that Semi is the reason of this turnout of event for him. I am just looking forward for the real past story of this too and also the ending that really excite me. At number 5 we have Wish You All The Best. This manhwa is about Ju Se-in, an Omega who experience a lot of things from an Alpha just so he could save his ill mother in her bed end, and one day, when Se-in was walking across the street. He saw a poster where a famous prosecutor was looking for an Omega binder with a reward of 20 million won. With the thought of her ill mother, Sayin did not took a second thought and apply for an interview. He said in the interview that he would be a loyal binder to his alpha and make him the king of his world that he could take all the things that this person might want him to do. Little did Sayin know that this person is going to his worst nightmare in this lifetime. He'll get to experience a lot of things that could crash his thought of being a human being. 
But this thoughts didn't stop him on pushing forward to his dream and his mother's dream. This manhwa has a really good plot story. I just can't describe it all the way but the structure of this story is really catchy and entertaining to look or read. So if you're looking for a manhwa that has a story yet has that obsessive top, then this manhwa might be for you. At number 4 we have Binding of Unrequited Love. This manhwa is about Lee Hae In, a person who get constantly bullied by Ji Hoon, a person he sleep with the same roof and the person who will soon to be his brother. Ji Hoon actually does not want to bully or harm Lee Hae In, but when he tried to be a good brother with Lee Ha In, he constantly gets pushed back and gets an awkward silent emotion from him, and this eager Ji Hoon to get a reaction from his stepbrother Hae In, and in order for him to do this, he tried everything that he could passively do, until he saw his stepbrother Hae In in his room doing some stuff that give him expression that Ji Hoon wanted to see more, so everything started that day and Hae In suddenly saw a different approach of Ji Hoon to him, but little did he know that Ji Hoon has plan in his head that could bind this brothers into a missus that could blow up their future. This manhwa is kinda similar to one of my favorite manhwa place boo. If you guys knew that manhwa I suggest for you to read that before reading this manhwa to get that vision of a really good and exiting manhwa to read. At number 3 we have Shadow of the Reunion. This manhwa is about Kim Tae In, a person who just get out prison and saw a dead body on his way to his house. And when he's about to call for a police, he suddenly run away from the scene and lock himself in his house. But when his partner came up in mourning, Tae and told him what happened and get advice to not tell to the authority what he saw. Because there's a chance that Tae and might get involved into this crime given that he has a criminal record. And with that he decided to not tell the authority what happened. Thinking that he might get abuse again if he gets locked up for a false accusation. Later that night, the guilty linger into Tae In's body and he decided to contact a prosecutor to tell him what he saw that night, and when they were doing the interview, Tae In suddenly got drunk from the pheromones of the alpha male beside, and when he woke up, he saw the prosecutor taking care of him and asking him to be take his car and he'll drive him home. This scene was caught by Tae In's partner and Tae In get punished on what happened that night. This manhwa is really something knowing that we get to see a love triangle from a two male alpha and our very lovely omega. Also I am looking forward for this manhwa seriously. Like the idea of prison is really messed up but I kinda love that energy that gives him a traumatic memory. I don't but I just love those kind of plot. At number 2 we have Neighbors Rice Cake. This manhwa is about young SU. A person who worked for a small pork grilling restaurant after he failed two years in a row to become a civil service. Thinking that life is originally meant to be seen as long, he decided to work and save up money for the next civil service exam that he'll take, and one of the reason why young SU love the place that he work on right now, is because of Woonjin, a cute junior of him that has been treating like a student, not knowing that young SU has already fallen into him, but the only thing that keep him away from saying what he truly felt is because young SU lied to him about his educational background and Woonjin on the other hand decided to put his name on his paper because of the help that young SU did to him. With a heavy thoughts, young SU decided to take his off during that day, but into his surprise, he saw a huge man in his doorstep waiting for him with a rice cake on him hands, saying that he is a new neighbor from the unit next to him. He excitedly get the rice cake not knowing that the liquid that he realizes is in his shoulder making both of them awkward that turn out to an argument for them. But things got a little good with them when this neighbor invite young SU to have a drink that bond both of them into something that young SU never imagined. At number 1 we have Don't Mix Business with Pleasure. This manhwa is about the 26 years old college student and novel writer Beck Du Hu. A person who been looking for his next model in the boy's love novel that has been writing on, and in a twist of fate, he met the top student Seo Ju Hian, an acclaimed model who has really good shape and face that could captivate everyone with just a single smile. But Beck Du's excitement comes to an end the moment he find out that Seo Ju Hian has a personality that doesn't match the character that he writes, and so he thought that that time is the last time that Beck Du and Son Ju would meet. But exactly that night, Beck Du saw the real personality of Son Ju when a senior was being ruse to him ask him to go out to talk about a matter. In this scene, Beck Du saw how Son Ju take lead to the other person give him a words that could pierce into someone's heart. And when he saw that unexpected side that he never knew, he did not waste any time and ask for his number to be his model in his upcoming novel. This manhwa is funny yet obsessive type of manhwa. Also a top with a blonde hair just captivate me every time I read such a story so maybe I am a little biased. 
but this manhwa for sure will not let you don't when you read it. And that's all for today recommendation, I hope you guys find a manhwa that caught your interest, if you have any recommendations of manhwa for me to read or to put on my next video, please let me know in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe to my channel, thank you and keep safe.